We do begin with senior national correspondent John Roberts, who is live in St. Louis with uh, Trump's big night. Lots of folks saying that he won the night. Uh, Heather and Clayton, good morning to you. That does seem to be the consensus among uh, a lot of his supporters, at least, that he did uh, help himself last night. We'll see how it plays out throughout the rest of the day. But I know that the RNC chairman, Reince Priebus, believes that on the issue of that 11-year-old uh, hot mic incident, Donald Trump did what he needed to do to get past it. Here's one example of how Trump tried to explain that away. Listen. I don't think you understood what was said. This was locker room talk. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I apologize to my family. I apologize to the American people. So for the record, said, you're saying you never did that. things that, frankly, you, you hear these things, they said. And I was embarrassed by it, but I have tremendous respect for women. Have you ever done those things? women have respect for me. And I will tell you, no, I have not. After he got that out of the way, and that was probably the most rocky part of the debate for him, he went after Hillary Clinton on a number of different fronts and taxes, uh, went after Bill Clinton, went after her comment about deplorables, and answering critics who said he missed a lot of opportunities to go after her at the Hofstra debate, particularly on the email issue. Here's what Donald Trump said about that. For you to say that there was nothing wrong with you deleting 39,000 emails, again, you should be ashamed of yourself. What you did, and this is after getting a subpoena from the United States Congress. We have to move on. You Secretary Clinton, you can respond, minute. and we've got to we, move on. We if want to give the audience a, sector, a chance you put here. In jail, let alone after getting a subpoena from the United States Secretary Congress. Clinton, you you heard a moment ago in one exchange, Donald Trump said that she would be in jail if he was the president of the United States. He says on the campaign trail that if he wins, he'll appoint a special prosecutor to look into the email controversy. And he repeated that last night on the debate stage. Listen. If I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation. People have been... Their lives have been destroyed for doing one-fifth of what you've done, and it's a disgrace. And honestly, you ought to be ashamed of Secretary yourself. Clinton. Uh, but as he wakes up on Monday morning after the debate, Donald Trump has got a lot on his plate. Not only is he at war with Hillary Clinton, clearly, by that debate last night, but he's also at war with members of his own party who he feels have abandoned him over this tape scandal, uh, basically saying that they're hypocrites who are out for themselves and not for the greater good of the party. Clayton, Heather? All right, John Roberts watching all of the debris fall out from the debate <laughs> last night. Thanks, John. Thank you.